Clerical over here back with a 2k video um, today I'm gonna be helping you guys out with some players to use for road to the playoffs and also I'm gonna show you guys some budget baller that you could use for domination anything regardless so first off let's go through the road to the playoffs Terry Rozier very good point guard in my opinion actually he uh, he's only 6'2 and 109 pounds but he's he's quick He's athletic, and he can kind of shoot, but, yeah, his passing isn't a whole lot. But I just, I mean, when I play with him, he just does very well for me. I mean, I always get into the basket. I'm getting dunks with him. He dunks on people. He's 84 speed. Not bad for a bronze. And, uh, but he's very good. I, I definitely recommend him. There's a badge on him, too. What is that? Microwave? I don't know if that was, a uh, that's supposed to be on there, or if I added that. I can't remember, but then for my silver... I use Jamal Crawford, very good. I mean, he's a ball. If you can see right there, ball control is a 95. Not very fast, you know. Not very athletic, but he he can shoot the rock actually. And he's six five at the shooting guard position. That's pretty good. I mean, driving layup. That's I mean, that's all really good for being in those low seeds. Free throw is a 90. I mean, you're not gonna miss free throws with him, especially in this game in 2K16, where they actually made it so free throws are easier to make but I mean 95 ball control is very very good um, decent defender nothing too special but you know pretty good pretty good oh uh, was that I seen that offensive consistency too that's pretty high wasn't it yeah 90 90 for a silver on offensive consistency it's crazy and uh, to the small forward position you got Maurice Harkless only reason why I got this guy is because he can dunk and he's 6'9 Small for position, that's nice. Let's see what his dunk is. Driving dunk is an 84. I mean, I play I play in the fast break a lot, so I like to throw lobs. And Mo Harkless is catching lobs. And, I mean, that's basically all you can say about him. He just dunks on people. Lob City finisher, as you can see right there. Also, I got Adrian Payne. He's basically the same thing. He just dunks. <laughs> he dunks. He has an okay mid-range, actually. Yeah, what is this thing? Standing shot, mid range, 76. I mean, that's not bad. You can definitely handle that. And his dunk, where is it? Dunk, dunk. Standing dunk, driving dunk, both, both in the 70s. Very good, very good. Also, you got Bobame or Janovic. I mean, there's nothing to really say about him but being 7 foot 4. <laughs> He's very good. You could also use Symbolar, but if you're on a budget, Bobain is definitely a lot cheaper than Symbolar. But if you could. I would definitely pick up Simbular and run Bobain at power forward and Simbular at center. I mean, that might be a little bit of cheese, but I mean, it's not that bad because these two positions, I mean, you're basically only going to use them for down under the basket, and these both can finish. I mean, with authority. <laughs> and then also in my bench, you know, nothing too great. Tyus Jones, I just basically have high rated bronze in here, some players I like to use. Tyus Jones, just because, you know, I'm around for the Minnesota area, so I like. I mean, I've, Tyus Jones is a pretty beast. Uh, Corey Jefferson, I think I just threw him in here because he's high rated in my lineup. I mean, he's nothing too special for me. He doesn't do a whole lot. He gets in. I mean, he's same same height as Mo Hargless there, and you know, nothing too special. But Nick Stauskas, this dude low key can actually slam the ball pretty decent. Uh, what is this? Driving dunk is only at 35, but he gets he can get up. He has some nice looking dunks. He can shoot limitless range on him. Very good bronze. You can shoot very, very well. Definitely something you want to get. Also, you got, I don't even know what, Damian Rudez. I mean, he's, he's got an 85 standing shot three. That's the only reason why he's in the lineup six, at 6'10. So you get, I could run him at my power forward position. Probably not much of a rebounder, but he can definitely shoot the rock. Yeah, terrible rebounding. And this guy, Rajon Holmes. Only a 67 overall, but. If you look at his uh, standing layup, is an 80. That's good finishing down underneath the rim. But then, was his block is a 77, and his driving dunk is 65, and standing dunk is 65. That's pretty good for being a bronze player. I mean, that's definitely not bad. And of course, you got Pierre Jackson here. Fast. 87 speed with an 81 standing shot. Three. His release is kind of different. It's not bad, but he's got a lot of badges too. He's a, he's a really good bronze. And then you got Rashad Vaughn. He just finishes at the basket and he's pretty quick at 82. 
pretty quick. 6'5", too. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Dunk is nice. 70, yeah, very good. Then you got Quincy AC. This guy in 2K15 was crazy in the low seeds for me. And he's doing the same thing in 2K16. Driving dunk, 78. Standing dunk, 85. That's, that's amazing. And a contact dunk, 85 for a bronze. Guys, you're missing out. I should honestly have him. You know what? Yeah, let's do that right now. Instead of Adrian Payne. I just like Adrian Payne because I'm around that area. But Quincy AC. He's nice. He's real nice. So, yeah. I mean, there's other plays you guys could use here, too. I mean, for bronzes, you could use. I'm not really sure you could use. I mean, I don't really have anyone else that's not already in the lineup. I mean, you could run Rashad Bond, Tyus Jones, Pierre Jackson there. So, shooting guard, I mean, for silvers, you wouldn't really have to use him. You guys could go for the shooting guard position and do JJ Redick, who has an. 89 standing shot three is really 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 nice. Damari Carroll has a nice three once again. Giannis and the Canumbo just finishes at the basket very very well. And for centers, you don't really need anyone to use at the silver in this seed because Bobane is tall. But when you get into other seeds, I really like to use Sean Bradley because this man is seven six, seven six. That is crazy. So there's that. I can take you guys now. Let's we'll check out the budget ballers. John Wall goes for a little bit, but honestly, he's worth the investment. His standing layup 90, driving layup 90. I mean, he just finishes at the rim. Not much of a shooter. His three is just atrocious, actually, if you ask me. But he's got an okay mid range. But I mean, in this game, mid range is very overpowered, I think. I mean, it's a lot better than shooting threes. And sometimes driving the basket, you get some weird animation. But he's got an 86 driving dunk, which is really good. And he has a 97 speed. He's so fast. So fast. And then Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson, if you want to buy him, he's very expensive. But you can get him through connections in my career. So I, I was highly suggest you do uh, my career. Finish out the story, live in the dream, frequency vibrations, and finish that out. And you can get Clay Thompson through your connections, which is really nice. Same with Andrew Wiggins. He's just very good against the basket. Decent ball control at small for position, tall, okay standing shot. I mean, it's nothing special, but it's, he definitely gets things done. Kevin Love. There's not a whole lot I can say about him. He's just a beast. <laughs> for me, he's rebounding. He's very good. See there. Uh, he can shoot the rock. That's for sure. Mid-range all day. I mean, you find his hot spot and you got it. I mean, you can get him from connections too. So, I mean, connections are a big thing this year. You guys definitely have to get him free cards. You have a good team right away without you having to play a single game on my team. Then you got DeAndre Jordan, who is just a dunker. I mean, that's what I like at my center position, someone who can dunk very easily. I mean, his rebounding stats are crazy too. I mean, look at that, 92 and 94. But then you got 97 standing dunk, 94 driving dunk, and then a 96 contact dunk. He's definitely posterizing people. That is for sure posterizing y'all. I love using him. He's my favorite. I even use him in my best lineup sometimes. But then also you got Jimmy Butler. Probably one of the best shooting guards in the game this year for the for the gold cards. Um, he's tall, lengthy. He can dunk. He can shoot. But his shot is just booty. I mean, it, oh, I hate using his, his shot. Is, I don't like it at all. Release is messed up. But he's definitely very good. He's got good defensive stats, lateral quickness, block is okay for a shooting guard. I guess 50. I mean, but his defense is really good. His consistency is high in that in that aspect, and he's got some decent badges. We can actually check out his badges here: microwave, on phase, corner specialist, scrapper, perimeter lockdown defender, pick dodger, interceptor, pick pocket, and transition finisher. So you can definitely throw them lobs to him. And then also you got Ray Allen. He's not really much of a budget baller, but you can actually get him for free, basically. I mean, not free, but you can get your cards collected right there. You see, I have 112. You need a certain amount. Basically, what I did was I bought logos, jerseys, uh, playbooks when they came, when someone had sniped playbooks, um, coaches, and all those other things. You can snipe them for like 250 MT, and they just accumulate. You get higher and higher. You get those MT rewards. You can use it towards that, and that's how I got him. It's very easy, and he's got a standing shot at 3 and 95, which is just amazing. Amazing, and it's Ray Allen. I mean, come on, guys. Ray Allen is just a beast. He's got good badges, basically all shooter badges. Rudy Gay. <sighs> Sometimes 
called the cheap man's LeBron. I would have to agree. He's a driving dunk. He's really good. He's tall, lengthy. Basically, LeBron with, with a better shot. <laughs> I love using him. He's very good. He's a very good player. Gordon Hayward. Some A lot of people aren't actually liking Gordon Hayward this year, but I, I like him a lot. Mostly, one, he's free. He's got posterizer. He can slam. He can shoot. He's a very good player. That's, all, that's what I look for. I look for a person who can, has athleticism and can shoot the rock. And basically, you're all good. And then, once again, you go to Sean Bradley. He's a little bit expensive, but if you catch it on, like, a Friday or Thursday when a lot of people are opening packs, he goes down in price around sometimes a 5 or 6K, 7K. I mean, I sniped mine for 2000 I mean, I was really lucky. I sniped him for, like, 2500 I think it was exactly. I was just cheap. I mean, he's so I mean, he's so freaking tall. I use him in a lot of challenges that I do that are restricted, like, you know, overall restrictions and all this other crap. And then... Not. but also right here you got Roy Hibbert who's a very very good blocker slower it's just so slow I mean same with Sean Bradley but Roy Hibbert's slow but he's just a good blocker standing dunk defensive stats is where he's where he's his strong point is defensive rebounding is nice does a lot of stuff like that very good but Courtney Lee Courtney Lee is actually really good he gets to the basket he can shoot He's got hot spots all over, as you can see. He's a sharpshooter, as I like to say. He's really good. I enjoy using him. I don't use him as much anymore, but I used to use him a lot at the beginning. Um, and then you got Shane Larkin, who actually is an amazing silver point guard. He's got a 95 speed. He's so quick. He's flying by everyone with the, the speed restrictions. You're flying past centers, power forward. The only thing about it is he's small, so he gets bumped a lot. 100. 76 pounds only, 5'11". He gets bumped a lot, very easily. He he can get to the basket. He can't dunk, I don't think. No. Yeah, driving dunk's only 25. He can't dunk, but he's so fast. He can kind of finish down and underneath the basket. I mean, he's very good. I, I love using him. He's His mid-range is good. His shot is decent. So, I mean, I definitely... I mean, he's very good. I, I definitely suggest using him. But then, for the last part of this video here, we're going to check out some... Uh, some of my best lineup basically so what I run is I run Stephen Curry point guard I mean I love Stephen Curry who doesn't and then James Harden James Harden this year is kind of an iffy player they kinda took away from his shooting I mean he's a very good shooter but they they didn't give him very high stats in that this year but he, he, he'd be good at the point guard position as well but it's kinda some cheese so I just keep him at shooting guard and then also I have LeBron James I mean small forward who, I mean best card in the game he's not much of a shooter he's He's quite crap, actually, but he can get to the basket. He's very good at doing that. You got Anthony Davis. <sighs> I definitely have to say Anthony Davis is my favorite amethyst player in the game right now. He's so good. He does so many good things for me. Box out, he's rebounding, he's block. He just does so many good things for me. I love having him on my team. DeMarcus Cousins, like I said before, the only reason why I have him is he can dunk very, very well. Standing dunks to 95. Very, very good. He's a good rebounder. He's better overall than uh, DeAndre Jordan, but, you know, DeAndre Jordan's good, too. I also have KD. I thought about running him at shooting guard, but also he's 6'9". That's kind of some cheese as well, so I don't do that. But then I got Jason Kidd from completing uh, Domination. And then I also have Scottie Pippen that I got from uh, doing Historic Domination and finishing that. Uh, then I have Blake Griffin, a dunker, rebounder. Has a nice mid-range. Decent ball control. I mean very good for power forward he's got he has good passing I mean throwing those lobs to DeAndre Jordan all the time you have to and of course Clay Thompson the free Clay Thompson from doing connections might I add um, <laughs> standing shot 393 you can't can't beat that Paul George one of my favorite gold players to use this year very very good I mean the standing shot 3 is only 86 that's pretty high but he just he feels like it's a 95 he, he hits them all the time for me. He can drive, dunk, easy, no, easy. It's just so easy. And then Elgin Baylor. I'm a big Lakers fan. Los Angeles Lakers are my team, so I had to get Elgin Baylor. And being in the 89 overall, I just put him in my lineup to boost the uh, overall a bit. I mean, but he's got good sh good stats too. I mean, as a small forward, his rebounding stats are almost like a center. I mean, look at that offensive rebound, 84, defensive rebound, at 90. He's basically a center at the rebound. <laughs> when it comes to rebounding. And rebounding is key in this game this year. Rebounding, people who are actually good rebounders actually get rebounds this year, which I like a lot. His box out 92, I mean, he's he's basically a defender. I mean, he's got hot zones all every, everywhere but the three. So, 
also got uh, Vince Carter in here. He's driving dunk. It's just crazy. So good. I love having him as well. He's very, very good. But yeah, basically that's a whole run through. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, leave a like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.